hi guys welcome back to a new tutorial in this after tutorial i will show you how to create this ocean planet so let's get started let's start with a new composition and i will call this ocean planet i will go with a full HD resolution and 24 frames per second and 10 second duration for the animation let's hit ok now first off let's create a new solid and I will call this orb. For this tutorial, I will use Video Copilot free orb plugin. I will put link in the description. You guys can check it out. After you install it, now search for VC orb effect. Okay. Now let's create a new camera. Right click new camera. And I will use two node camera and hit OK. Now if you press Alt and play with your mouse, right click and left click. You guys can get a good camera angle also rotation i will keep it like this for now okay now uh, let's also create a light so right click new light and i will go with a parallel light and with these settings hit ok now press p on your keyboard and play with the light i will set the light something like this you guys can play with the light position now that's perfect now go to orb effect and here i will set the specular zero now i also provide with these textures you guys can check it out uh, link in the description okay i will put this kepler 22 texture down like this and then let's hide it for now now go to orb effect now go to map and here for the diffuse layer i will give it this kepler 22 texture now let's also increase the diffuse gamma let's also set the bump map layer to kepler now let's decrease the bump map intensity something like this okay this should work you guys can also play with this diffuse it will add some brightness okay i will stick with these settings now let's also add our cloud layer so let's create a new composition and this will i will name this cloud and i will go with these settings now drag and drop this earth cloud texture and i will press s and then scale it down now also search for extract effect and then i will bring this slider here and this below slider here as you can see now we have this transparent effect now you can also add a curve effect and then increase the brightness something like this now go to ocean planet composition and drag and drop this cloud layer for now let's hide it now let's create a new composition and this will be our cloud map and i will hit ok now search for pc orb again now set the specular zero okay now go to map and set the diffuse layer to our cloud layer now as you can see now we have a cloud we can also increase the diffuse a bit now set the uh, blend mode to screen so it has some brightness values you can also give some bump map with the cloud layer as well let's reduce it we don't need too high okay this is perfect now let's duplicate this cloud layer and here below layer i will call this cloud shadow and i will set the blend mode to normal and okay now set the color of this layer black and press t to bring opacity value and let's reduce the opacity maybe around 40 as you can see now we have little bit depth now let's increase the size of this upper cloud layer i will go with radius 203 with that as you can see now we have this hard edge we can fix this by go to advanced option and then increase the edge feather like this and also increase the edge shrinks effect as you can see it's now disappeared okay now we have a nice planet but we can make it better so let's also create a new solid and i will call this haze this will be our uh, planet glow let's hit ok now i will also add a vco plugin here and set the specular zero now for this layer i will remove the diffuse so let's hit zero go to illumination and i will give this uh, ocean color for this illumination and let's increase the illumination go to illumination option now uh, set the funnel to one now also increase the funnel bias something like this now we need to flip this so let's increase the shadow light this way it only glow toward the light and i will set the shadow light one now we have this effect okay this looks pretty good now let's set the blend mode to screen now let's search for glow effect i recommend you guys to use the deep glow but if you don't have 
no worries you can use a default glow and increase the radius something like this but if you have money uh, i recommend you to buy a deep glow plugin okay now this should work now let's duplicate this layer and let's solo this play with these settings you guys can give little bit sharp edge like this okay now we have this nice glow effect now let's add our star layer so let's create a new solid and i will call this stars hit ok now also add pco plugin to this layer and i will set the uh, specular zero now go to surface and set this to back i also have this text so let's drop it down and hide it you guys can download this as well now go to uh, maps and diffuse layer set the diffuse layer as uh, milky way text okay now let's uh, set the radius to twenty thousand. so it's big as you can see now go to uv and set the uv type to box and i will go with uv repeat x to three also uv repeat y to three as well you guys can also play with the rotation of this layer as you can see pretty cool i will go with something like this something like this should work now let's drag this down okay let's also bring camera and parallel light up now go to star layer and here go to advanced option you can press unlit only it will give some brightness to the stars you can see pretty cool now let's also add this blue hair texture and then search for tint effect i will go with ocean color like this and set the blend mode to add or screen okay this looks pretty cool now let's also link all this layer to one layer press orb and cloud shadow and cloud solid and press e it will bring vc orb plugin now open this vc orb we need to link this uh, rotation xyz now press tilt on your keyboard now we can easily link this now i will put this uh, cloud rotation x and link this to orb rotation x i will do this to all of these layers okay I will speed this up process. Now press tilt again and it will bring back all the layers. Now if we go to orb and play with the Y and rotation as you can see cloud also follow the orb. Okay pretty cool. Now let's create a little bit angle something like this and create a keyframe for the rotation. Now go to 10 seconds and decrease the rotation Y. Now if you press spacebar as you can see now we have nice planet rotation you guys can play with the rotation xyz now let's close this up now let's also animate the camera so let's press a and create a keyframe and also press shift p it will bring position now create a keyframe now go to end of the comb and let's press alt and then play with the camera you can also just go with crazy something like this and uh, this looks pretty cool as well if you check the animation as you can see it's a bit little speed but you guys can get different camera angle i will play with the camera a little bit okay i will keep this for now it's pretty cool now i also provide you with this flare mov footage you guys can download this as well now set this plane mode to screen as you can see it will add lens flare now you can also add a uh, adjustment layer and call this cc and go to effect and preset and search for curve effect and let's set the curve like this you can also go with red channel and play with the channel curve blue channel something like this let's also add a noise effect noise sls auto let's increase it not too much little bit three and then set this to squared okay pretty cool you can also add unsharp mask effect as you can see it will add little bit sharp edge i will set this to 40 we don't need too much and that's how easy it is to create this uh, ocean planet in after bit i hope you guys learned something new if you have any question let me know in the comment section also thank you so much for the patreon supporters and i will see you guys in the next one have a great day